Hi guys, this is Dr. Sulis coming to you again with a new video. Um, today, if you see my latest video on YouTube, um, I'm showing my 18 second boot from um, from booting up on my Hackintosh. Um, this new um, method I use, I'm um, use kernel cat gs method. Um, I inserted it into my boot my boot list file. Um, this allowed me now to boot from from Saints. Um, on when you see the white screen. Um, the Apple logo load up and then until the, to see my desktop is about 18 seconds. Obviously, the more seconds um, from, from the time the BIOS posted is um, still is still adding on seconds. But from the time you see the gray logo Apple screen and the time to see on my desktop is that's actually from it actually starts at 20. It actually starts at 18. The Apple Apple gray screen and then it finishes at 36. Which is actually, which is actually 18 seconds, 18 seconds fast. So, at, which is 18 seconds fast. Well, <clears throat> if you have seen my latest video, um, my, my not my latest video, my oldest, video, my old video, where I show my boot up, um, it's, it's about a minute and 20 seconds, I believe. It's a long time it takes to boot up. But today uh, I was researching um, in 20 Mac X86 forms. You see, uh, to find you my snow beast a little bit fat, a little bit more to my liking, um, and I found the user user kernel cache method, which whereby you insert in the bootless players as I said in the beginning. This allowed me now to boot way quicker than I usually do before, but I also did um, a few changes to my BIOS. I had an enable the uh, the PCI slot where my graphics card is located um, to enable. I had it on an auto, so that enables me to, um, to disable the onboard graphics and only to enable for it for my graphics card in the slot, in the PCI 8 slot. And that allowed me now, I don't know how that effect changed even more, but then I went into, um, um, into more settings and I got um, an enabled smart boot, nothing else, more fast boot, um, or first boot. I enabled that at first, it was disabled, I don't know why, but. I did that change as well, and then <clears throat> I know that didn't did, did um, more for me than it should to make it more faster like that. But um, after I did this, I used after inserting user kernel catch. This allows the um, the Chimera boot loader to bypass the extras the extra folder. Look at the Mac OS, and you only use the boot partition um, MCAS MCAS folder to just ignore that and just go straight to the um, to the desk to the um, to desktop rather than loading up all the cache and going through all the um the kernel cache and refreshing all that all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you quickly now before it's gonna get any longer how I did it. Um you're gonna go into Finder, you're going to go to um your root desktop, your root drive, you're gonna go to the library, um you're going to go to sorry oh, Extra for sorry, you're gonna take a little extra folder. My my bad. You're gonna do the dark on uh, your boot pull list, your communion boot pull list. Um, then you're gonna add the string key, um, use kernel catch key, and then you're gonna use the string yes. After adding that, you're gonna save, you're gonna exit, and, and ask you to save. All right now, I'm using text wrangler, um, to, to edit my text files and boot pull list files. After that, you're gonna go to if you have um, on your current system right now, um, Kex Utility. You can, I think you can download it separately or through multi beast if you're in the OX X OX X86 um, additional software. You're gonna Kex Utility. That's what I did. You're gonna enter your password inside and prepare catches and permissions. And you're gonna restart and then. You can do um, the bias settings that I just I said earlier before. Um, I don't think that works. If that's gonna work as well, if if that allowed them to work, or if it separately the user kernel cache worked without those settings in BIOS, but I did those settings, so you can try that as well. I don't think it should hurt. And that's all I did. You're gonna enter your, um, your password. Oh. Your super, your super. Oh, here. You enter your super secure password. 
Oh. What am I doing? My bad. You know, pre pre uh, permissions and cares, and that's it. That's what I did, and then. And there you go, that's how I did. So, if you need any help, you can head on over to tonymarketcity6.com forum. There's a whole heap of information over there for general fine, general fine tuning, audio, sound cards, all different stuff. As usual, head on over head on over there to find the you know, information and research. Just find out, read and read and just read the forum post. Ask questions and find out more information. Well, good luck. Thanks for watching and catch you guys with another video. Thanks.